In this video, we will look at the procedure for copying a virtual machine in VMware Fusion. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 100 Copying the virtual machine is the most thorough way of backing it up. For more information on backing up your virtual machine and its programs and data, check out VMware Knowledge Base Article 101 3628. You can also copy the virtual machine as a way of duplicating, imaging, or cloning it. To copy the virtual machine, first you will need to power it off. In this example, I have a virtual machine running Windows 7 as the guest operating system, and I want to copy this virtual machine. So I will just shut down the Windows 7 operating system, and here you can see the virtual machine has been powered off. Making a copy of the virtual machine while it is running or suspended can create a copy that may not boot, so as a best practice it would always be recommended that you power off your virtual machine before copying it. Next, you will need to find and open the virtual machine bundle. To do this, simply hold down the control key and click the virtual machine in the virtual machine library that you want to copy and then click on the show in finder option. Alternatively, you can right click if you have that functionality enabled. For more information on locating the virtual machine bundle in VMware Fusion, check out VMware Knowledge Base article 1007599. Here you can see that I have three virtual machine bundles in my virtual machines folder. It is the Windows 7 virtual machine that I want to copy, so I will simply right click on that virtual machine bundle and will select the Copy Windows 7 option. In this example, I want to copy the Windows 7 virtual machine to my USB storage device. To do this, I will just click on the USB storage device under the Devices section in Finder. Now that I am in the USB storage directory, I need to click on edit and paste item in order to copy the virtual machine into this directory. You should see a window appear which will show you the progress of the copy process. While the virtual machine is copying here in my machine, now might be a good time to mention that there are alternative methods in which you can copy your virtual machine other than the method which I have just shown here in this example. Using Finder on your Mac OS, you can also simply drag the virtual machine bundle to whatever destination that you desire. For more information, see the solution as provided in VMware Knowledge Base article 1001524. Depending on the size of your virtual machine and the speed of the source and destination hard disks, the length of time to complete the copy process will differ. For the sake of time, I will skip some of the copying process here in this demonstration. Once the copying process has completed, you should now be able to power on the new copy or clone of the virtual machine you just copied. If you power on the copied virtual machine, VMware Fusion asks if you have moved the virtual machine or copied it. Select the I moved it option unless you need to run the copied virtual machine at the same time as the original virtual machine. The I moved it option indicates that it is the same virtual machine, just starting from a new location and keeps all of the settings the same. When you select the I copied it option, a new UUID or universally unique identifier and MAC address are generated, which can cause Windows to require reactivation and may cause network issues. Here you can see that after I clicked on the I moved it option, that my Windows 7 virtual machine has now powered on and is booting into Windows. This concludes our look at copying a virtual machine in VMware Fusion. Thank you for choosing VMware 
and be sure to subscribe to our KBTV channel on YouTube and our KBTV blog for additional news and updates regarding new video tutorials.